What's up guys, Rogue9 here. We all know that Ella has been nerfed significantly with the Year 3 Season 1 patch and in this video I will do a before and after comparison of the changes to her gun, plus I do believe that I may have discovered a quirk in the post patch recoil that will still allow you to shoot it quite accurately at pretty much the full fire rate. This video should be relatively simple and straightforward so let's get right into it. The patch notes tell us that the most recent update to the Scorpion involved two different aspects of the gun. Increased recoil and reduced damage. And you all know that I love numbers, so let's start out with the damage reduction. Pre-patch, the Scorpion would do between 28 and 18 points of damage unsuppressed, and now it will only do 23 to 15 points of damage. This means that pre-nerf, the damage per second or DPS output was 504 and 323 at range, which used to make the Scorpion by far the most effective defender primary at all ranges. Now it's 414 and 270, which is only marginally better than the average DPS stats for the SMG class, 404 and 270 as well. But as you will know by now, the DPS stats are great for a quick comparison of the different guns, but what is more important when it comes to judging a gun's combat effectiveness is the time to down or kill an opponent, the TTK. With the old damage stats, the number of required shots to down or kill were 4 at close range and 6 at long range against level 1 armor, assuming body shots, 4 and 7 against level 2 and 5 and 7 against level 3 armor. With the new damage, these required shots are increased to 5.7, 5.8 and 6.9. The fire rate of 1080 RPM stayed the same and this means that the TTK has increased by 55.556 milliseconds against most opponents and at most ranges. In fact, the only time when you need two extra shots is against heavy armor at long range where the TTK increase is double. This means that at ranges below 18 meters against level 1 and 2 armor, you now need 222 milliseconds and against level 3 armor, it is now 278 milliseconds. How do the new numbers stack up? Well, the average close range TTK for SMGs against level 1 armor is 209 milliseconds, so the Scorpion is now actually below average and in fact only the MP5s, the FMG9 and the P90 are slower. Against level 2 armor, the Scorpion is slightly above average and against level 3 armor, very close to average. At long range, the TTK for Ella's gun ends up pretty close to the SMG averages against all three armor classes. The bottom line here is that Ella's Scorpion went from being very competitive even when matched up against attacker primaries to being just about average compared to other defender guns and definitely underpowered compared to the rifle class in the game. But of course, power is nothing without control and that is where the increased recoil comes in. And boy oh boy has it been increased. When the Scorpion was released way back in Operation Blood Orchid, it was practically a laser beam. Now I would liken the recoil more to holding onto a live fish that is on speed and being electrocuted at the same time. Comparing the in-game recoil patterns would suggest that the vertical recoil is still the same, while the horizontal recoil has been increased by what, 50-60% maybe? But I have to say that I'm not quite convinced that the new pattern is a great representation of what the Scorpion will feel like if you just hold down the trigger. The random vertical and horizontal recoil elements are now so extreme that the impact pattern doesn't rise with every shot the way we're used to with every other gun, but instead it can jerk downwards so powerfully that the gun actually overcomes the general muzzle climb. The fact is that during the extended burst, it becomes almost impossible to effectively engage a target even at only 9 meters as demonstrated here. Does that mean that we now have a weapon with mediocre damage and virtually no control? I would say no, not quite, because while testing the gun I discovered something about the recoil that I don't think we've seen in any other gun in Rainbow Six before. While firing long bursts, I noticed that the recoil on the first three shots or so always appeared to be quite reasonable. It wasn't until after the third or fourth shot that the violent electrocuted speedfish recoil would kick in. 
So my theory is that the recoil for the Scorpion drastically increases after the first few shots, but as long as you fire the gun in short bursts, it actually remains pretty manageable. To test this theory, I first switched the gun to the 3 round burst mode and fired a test pattern at 9 meters distance. And as you can see, yes there are a few outliers, but in general these 3 shot bursts show a very consistent and controllable pattern. I further tested the theory by firing at the wall in rapidly chained 3 round bursts while trying to control the recoil and then firing the gun in full auto while also attempting to control the recoil. As you can see the results are very different. While firing in chained bursts I was able to achieve a calculated fire rate of 1056 RPM which is almost the full 1080 but I still managed to control the recoil reasonably well. The same positive effect can be achieved by burst firing manually instead of relying on the 3 round burst setting but I actually quite like not having to worry about managing the length of my clicks and spamming away on 3 round mode felt pretty good. Back when I tested the 3 round burst mode in a separate dedicated video, I concluded that it doesn't really offer any advantage over just shortening your bursts manually, but with the new 2 stage recoil of the Scorpion, I found the 3 round burst to be the perfect way to keep the gun under control, even while spamming the fire button and still emptying the gun at almost full fire rate. It would be great to hear about everyone else's experiences with this. Try out bursting with the gun in either 3 round mode or by controlling the burst length manually and let me know which one you prefer. So to wrap up, my personal conclusion would be that if you fire the gun in bursts beyond 3 or 4 shots, the absolutely crazy second stage recoil added to the new mediocre damage output makes the gun basically one of the worst in the game for engagements above only a few meters. If your aim is on point you can land the first 3 shots, but after that you're relying purely on luck. If on the other hand you make sure to avoid the second stage recoil by keeping your bursts nice and short, Ella can still be a pretty effective 3 speed defender with a gadget that, if deployed in the right positions, can still provide you or a teammate with an almost guaranteed kill. But as always, this conclusion is just my personal opinion. Do let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on Ella in general and specifically your thoughts about the post nerf Scorpion. And with that, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode. You all know that I love numbers. Uh, yes, most people may refer to them as numbers, but I love them so much I call them numbers. Let's, let's go with that one. Or let's do another take, but whatever.